hello we are vlogging today basically i'm feeling very uninspired to make makeup videos because i'm doing so little and trying i'm just not wearing makeup because i have nowhere to go so i thought let's try a different style of video and i'll just show you my saturday so I do have a few things that I want to do today. Um, I did actually get a couple of new pieces of makeup in, I made an e.l.f. order and it just came in yesterday. So I do want to like get ready, do my makeup later on um, and kind of chat to you while I'm doing it. I'm not going to chat about the products because I do want to do a whole like video using the products after i've tested them out for a while so i can tell you my actual thoughts on them um but i'm gonna get ready and i'm just gonna kind of catch you up you can at least see me applying some of the products what they look like on the face this is like the first time i'm using them and yeah catch you up on what's been going on in life which is not much but yeah i thought we could just chat and i can fill you in on what has been happening and everything that's not been going on <laughs> no um yeah it's just a weird time isn't it i feel like i'm not doing anything every day but i feel like at the same time like life is still happening and you know i feel like there's things that i can catch you up on so that is the plan for the vlog today i also have some organizing downstairs in the room that i work like every day monday to friday in because i have like a dresser that was my mum's actually um and she gave it to me when they sold their house but um it has like drawers so it's a it's a desk essentially and i just want to organize the drawers because when we moved into this house i just shoved a load of stuff in the drawers and like didn't organize them i was just like unpacking and just like this can go in this drawer this can go in this drawer and now the drawers are like full of stuff um and it would just be helpful to have them in a more organized fashion so i'm gonna do that today and probably just talk you through it as i do it and put it on a time lapse and yeah i love a little organizational vlog but this morning i have got up <laughs> win yeah positive and i have had a shower and washed my hair also a positive i have got dressed in my new jumper also a positive um i'm trying to wear well not i'm trying to wear but i'm finding that if i wear brighter colors it makes me feel more like spring is coming or very close and it makes me feel a bit more happier yeah so first things i need to do today is sort out my hair situation just need to dry my hair and then i need to put some washing on i need to tidy the kitchen a little bit i need to make some breakfast i'm gonna have like a brunch i'm just gonna have some bacon let's be honest but that will be like my brunch because it is half 10 now so i feel like that will if i have a bacon sandwich that will kind of last me till the afternoon and i'm planning to make pancakes later because we didn't do it on pancake day on tuesday I'm gonna make pancakes for us later. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Those are all my plans. I might go out for a walk, but it's currently looking very rainy. So I don't know if I will. I'm trying to get out every single day at the moment, um, but we'll see. But yeah, I think that's it. So I'm gonna get on with my day now. So I usually just rough dry, excuse my lighting situation in the corner there, but um, yeah, I usually just rough dry my hair and like leave it slightly wet to then finish air drying. That's just how I've done it for like 10, 12 years of my life <laughs> since I started drying my hair. My hair is naturally straight, so it will now just dry pretty much like this. Um, but I did buy some new straighteners at the beginning of the year, so I probably will straighten my hair today. Just because I feel like when I straighten my hair, I feel like it just looks more put together and I feel like more done for the day. So I've been enjoying doing that. So I'm gonna do that later on, probably when I do my makeup. <laughs>
Okay, so it's a little bit later now. I have eaten my breakfast. I've put another washing load on. I feel like I'm getting so much done. Merlin has taken himself off for a nap after eating a whole pouch and a half of food, I think, he's eaten this morning, which is really good for him. Um, he's not, he's very picky with his food. <laughs> so if he eats that much in like a morning, that's, that's really good for him. I should have said as well that Adam has gone on a really long run this morning. He's actually training to do a marathon, which was supposed to be last year and keeps getting pushed back, but he's, um, he's running like the distance of a half marathon today. So he's gonna be out running for a while still probably. But I thought I would show you how I make my iced coffee because I mean, the last time I vlogged, <laughs> was like back in the old house and i've actually got a nespresso machine since then so this is the nespresso machine that i have um it's the it's the magimix one but it's the regular pods not the virtuo pods and it was like i think i got it for about 80 pounds it doesn't have like a milk frother or anything fancy like that because I knew I only really wanted to use it for iced coffee, so I didn't really wanna be like heating up milk and frothing up milk. So it's pretty basic. It just gives you a basic coffee shot, but I really like the taste of it. So I'll show you what I do. And I have like one, usually two of these a day. I do like one in the morning and then one kind of three, 4 p.m. normally. Um, but sometimes I'll make that decaf so that I'm not having so much caffeine. So it's really very simple <laughs> to make. Um, I use the, this is the Voluto capsule. It's not gonna focus. But yeah, I use the Voluto. Um, when I got the machine, it did actually come with a load of like testers uh, of the pods so that you could try different ones. And this was my favorite one in iced coffee. And they do a decaf version of the same pod. So this is the Voluto. So I normally will run it, and yes, I use an egg cup <laughs> because I don't have an espresso machine or anything and this perfectly fits like one shot of coffee in it. So it works for me. I just run it with water first just to flush out any like old, gross things that have been sitting in there. So now it's looking a lot cleaner. So then you just lift up that, put your pod in, and press the button. And I do two shots of this. So then I have these giant ice cube molds that I got from Amazon. They came in a two pack. Um, and I really like that because it just takes a much longer to melt because the coffee, the espresso is hot, so. Um, then I just put a little bit of oat milk in the bottom. And then I will just fill this up with cold water. I'm hoping the shot looks okay. I'm sorry about this, but it's just gonna have to, it's just gonna have to be there. Um, I have straightened my hair and put a little bit of jewelry on just to feel more ready for the day. Um, I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. I've been using this for a couple months now and I really like it. It's really hydrating and kind of leaves your lips looking a bit glossy, although the main time that I use it is at night, so I don't really care about that so much, but I'm facing the window at the moment, so it might kind of look like everything around me is really dark, I'm not sure, but whatever, my face looks like it has a lot of light, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Adam just got back, I just had to go and let him in because I left the key in the door so his key wouldn't turn in the lock. I do that every time, um, but yeah, he uh, he looked very very tired. You, you might hear him like walking around. I know he's gonna go have a shower in a minute, in a minute, because you know a two hour run will do that. Um, right, so I'm gonna get ready. 
the few elf products that i did get that i have got more products than this but these are the ones that i'm just going to use today i got the elf hydrating camo concealer i've heard so many people say good things about this and i do really love the oma beauty which is full coverage but kind of leaves high like hydrating bait like it's 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 hydrating enough not to like dry out your under eyes so i'm hoping that this might be a dupe and then i also got a couple of the putty blushes so i don't know what shade i'm gonna wear today so i actually got tahiti which i meant to get fiji <laughs> but i ordered the wrong shade and then you couldn't cancel or amend your order so but i actually think this is a more wearable shade maybe than fiji would be but fiji would be closer to this kind of orangey red shade of my jumper so but i think that could that could work it's a little bit more pinky and then i also got this which is turks and caicos which is caicos caicos i don't know how to say that um but this is like more of a peachy shade which is what i would normally go for and i think maybe it will go better with my jumper so yeah i'm not really going to talk about how they apply or anything because as i say i am going to do a video once i have like my proper thoughts on them and i've been using them for a while but i thought i would just use them on camera and then i also got this lip lip slick sheer slick lipstick <laughs> in the shade golden pear i do actually have one of these already um but it's more of like a kind of like a magenta pink and it just doesn't really look great on my skin tone so this one is much more of a kind of terracotta sort of orangey i'm hoping it's kind of like bright but nude at the same time okay so the base also i wanted to use this on camera um this is the i'm just gonna tell you what i'm using and then i'm gonna get into the makeup and not really talk about any other products i'm just gonna chat but just to say because i have been really loving this combo this is the milani screen queen foundation i actually had to get a new shade of this because the other shade i had was way too light it made my skin look really washed out and ashy and just not good um so this is in the shade 170 and before i had the shade 120 which online looked like it would be the right match but this is like five shades deeper and this is like my perfect skin tone so the swatches online are very misleading for this foundation but i do really like how it applies mixed in with the glossier future dew kind of just shears it out makes it much closer to the texture of like my charlotte tilbury light wonder foundation which i love um which as you know if you watch my videos i'm trying to find i'm trying to find a dupe for that that has a better shade range and this combo is pretty close it's annoying that it's not just like just the foundation on its own doesn't look like that and you have to mix it but i would say like when you mix it with the glossier future dew it does it does become very similar to that charlotte tilbury finish um so i take like a pump and a half of the foundation and then i just take about that much probably about half a pump of the future dew and i just apply it how i would that charlotte tilbury light wonder so i mix it all up in my hands and then i just like paint it on my face and then I'll go over with a brush and finish blending out. Um, but yeah, so let's catch you up. So I feel like, I mean, nothing really has happened in our life. Let's be honest here. We, in the UK, we are in a full on lockdown. So we only have essential shops that are open, nothing else in the UK in terms of shops, restaurants, bars, hospitality, hotels, that kind of stuff, nothing is open. And it's not going to be open for, I would say probably at least another month, if not two months. Um, so we're in this for the long haul at the moment. We're in the middle of a very intense lockdown. At the moment, you can't meet up with other households. You can't, um, you can only go for a walk legally obviously some people are breaking the rules but um you can only you're only supposed to go for a walk with one other person at a time so it is pretty isolating um it's just not that fun 
Um, it does kind of feel like every day is Groundhog Day and there's no variation um, to any to anything that we're doing. We have also like on the other side, obviously we've, we've recently moved halfway across the country so we're still like figuring out the area and kind of getting to know our surroundings and um that's really odd doing it in a full-on lockdown because obviously we haven't been able to like go out and experience any of the things we would normally experience like the local restaurants the local pubs um and there's 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 just nothing to do in that in that sense and um, so i actually haven't been into the city center of manchester yet um we live basically the way that manchester is set out there's like lots of different smaller towns i guess you'll call them like areas in greater manchester and then you have the city center in the middle i mean i guess most cities are set up like that right but we live in an area kind of outside of the city center um so we have everything we need here we don't need to go into the city center unless we wanted to like go to a particular restaurant or like go shopping and um uh, or like go to the shopping center or you know do those kinds of like day out things um, so obviously we don't have a reason to do that so I have just been sticking to the area that we're in and kind of exploring that we're actually not far from the Trafford Centre as well which is like a huge massive um, shopping centre <laughs> shopping mall um, I don't know if it is the biggest in the UK but it's definitely one of them we are living in Manchester but we haven't been into the city centre yet is what I'm trying to say so it is like a definitely a weird transition process because we aren't experiencing things how we would have experienced them if we are moving but the whole if we were moving in normal times but the whole reason that we have moved now um as opposed to like waiting until lockdown was over to move is because we knew that we wanted to move and because we are now working from home and our employers have said that's fine to continue doing we knew that we had the opportunity so we were like if we can find a place let's just move so that's what we did um because then when lockdown eases we're already here we've already done the difficult bit of finding a house to live in and um you know moving our whole lives up here we've done that we're here we're settled we can just enjoy life when it starts again <laughs> so i am like i'm i'm happy with like where we're at and like the decision that we made to move like i really love living up here um but it is just a really weird time to move anywhere and especially where we don't know anyone in the immediate area where we live but yeah i am really really liking it up here i really love the house that we've that we've moved to we have got loads of space here which i'm so grateful for um i'm really enjoying kind of just getting settled in the hat and like feeling like this is our home now it does feel like our home now but it's just the area is still a bit of a mystery to me you know like i just don't know the area and i haven't been able to like experience it the way i would have done anyway i feel like i've said that a hundred times but you get the you get the idea so obviously we moved like a month later we had christmas and then we went into full-on lockdown here in the uk and I feel like with this lockdown a lot of people are saying that they're finding it harder and that has definitely been the case for me. I think that having having the first lockdown last year was so much easier because it was like spring going into summer whereas this is like dead of winter. Um, for pretty much the whole of January I hardly went outside. Um, I just didn't have the motivation. I was doing 30 days of yoga, so I was doing some kind of movement with my body, but I did that in my living room. And then I just, it was so dull and gray and I, and I just didn't have the motivation to go out. I just literally wouldn't go out. I didn't do like daily walks or things like that, which ultimately I think really wasn't good for my mental health. Um, 
So now, obviously we're halfway through February. I've finished the 30 days of yoga thing, which I did really enjoy it, but I was just still feeling so sluggish and like I was eating a lot of food. Like I still am eating a lot of food that I shouldn't eat, but now I'm like trying to get outside every single day and I'm finding that that is really helping. Oh, I decided to use the Tahiti blush rather than Turks and Caicos. I don't know why. <laughs> I wanted to use Turks and Caicos, but I just picked this one up and then start putting it on my face. I'm not, I'm not concentrating enough on what I'm doing. <laughs> Over this whole year where we've been like going in and out of lockdowns in different stages and stuff, um, we've had some really, really high highs and we've had some really, really low lows. And I feel like a lot of those things might have happened anyway if we weren't in the COVID situation, but they, the really high highs feel great, but then you fall so much further when that kind of like excitement wears off because it's like, oh, now, now what? So for example, us getting engaged, that was great, but I haven't been able to see any of my friends in person to like celebrate with my friends that's not true I did see some of my friends from back home but like some of my other like really close girlfriends and stuff like I haven't seen them since it happened I don't know when I'm next gonna see them and it's just a weird thing and also like wanting to like get things going with planning the wedding and like sorting out what we want to do like so I so I feel like you go from like really high highs of something like getting engaged and then because you can't do things the way that you would have been able to do them if you weren't in COVID, then you then you just go into like a really low low about it. And especially when you're in like full on lockdown. And you know, we have had like um, really hard things happen in our lives this year. And when those things happen, they feel so much more like painful and difficult and hard to work through because you're not able to process things the way that you would have been able to process things in like normal times because i don't know if any of you have been feeling this way as well but i find that it's way easier to like dwell on those like sad things that have happened or like negative things that have happened and like it puts or it's been putting me into like more of a slump because I'm like well you know my life is just flashing by before my eyes and I can't do anything and and this has happened which is horrible and I can't see my parents I can't say see my mum and dad now for I don't know how many months so it just kind of like gets your head going and you just kind of spiral into these like negative thought patterns at least that's that's what's been happening for me especially over the last like month or two i don't really know i don't think this is going to help anyone but maybe it would be interesting to see if anyone else has been feeling the same way because i feel like i go from like feeling really positive or happy about a situation to like utter despair <laughs> and it's really hard to like pull myself out of it but then there are a lot of positives that have come out of um being in a lockdown situation like i am so much more appreciative of like my home comforts now and like really knowing what little things i can do to bring a little bit of joy to my day like having my iced coffee <laughs> like the ritual of making it and like putting on a little bit of makeup to feel myself again putting on jewelry putting on a bright jumper um doing like self-care um you know at home facials that kind of stuff i've really found a new appreciation for because there's nothing else to do <laughs> and those are the kind of things you just have to find to like bring little bits of joy into your day that's what i'm finding and food everything revolves around food as well but yeah so that's kind of how i'm feeling about everything um in terms of like daily life and lockdown and stuff obviously we we are in a really really fortunate position like we've been able 
to do so many things in this year still despite the situation and I'm totally recognize that and I'm so appreciative that we both still have our full-time jobs they have let us move halfway across the country and they're fine with that and you know everything in that sense we are so lucky to have um, and I 100% appreciate that but it still doesn't take away that the fact that we're not allowed to go outside most of the most of the time you know i mean i can't imagine what it's like to like work in hospitals right now or like have that kind of like frontline job it must be so heavy and so stressful and yeah so i mean we're very fortunate that like we don't have people in that in our family in that situation and you know our, our family aren't like being put at risk on a daily basis in that sense um but yeah do let me know in the comments how you do how you guys are doing i always love hearing from people who watch my videos because it makes me feel like i'm not doing this so much into a black void and even if i can't always reply right there and then obviously i do read them all and i do try and get back to everyone sometimes it just takes me a little bit longer um but thank you so much if you are one of those people that comments on pretty much every video. I see you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. It makes me just really feel like filming and doing this is like worthwhile. Because it is a hobby. At the end of the day, this is a hobby for me. It's probably going to be a hobby for a long time still. I'm not working to make it not a hobby. Um, I enjoy it being a hobby um, but you know with like any hobbies sometimes <laughs> you kind of think like why am I doing this <laughs> what am I getting out of it but actually what I get out of it is the enjoyment of creating videos playing with makeup talking to you guys about the makeup that I'm putting on and yeah so I did also want to fill you in on things that I've been watching in lockdown because let me tell you I've been watching a lot of trash tv and it's been fantastic that is one thing that I do really find like a good escape for me um I have always loved reality tv don't get me wrong you can have it on in the background and you can still take in everything that is going on it's pure escapism you do not have to think to watch it you can switch your brain off and still take everything in and that's what i love about reality tv it is pure escapism i would definitely say uh the thing that we have watched the most of in the last couple of months is below deck so i have a hey you subscription which if you're in the uk basically you can get like loads and loads of reality shows if you get a hey you subscription it's only 3.99 a month last year i watched all of eight seasons of Vanderpump Rules, which was great. <laughs> I mean, these shows are like really not good for like hamming up misogynistic stereotypes, I wanna say, but you know, if you watch it and you're aware of that, you know, it's just fun to watch. It's, it's, it's silly TV, it's silly drama, and as long as you kind of watch it and take it with a grain of salt, I think you're good. Um, but yeah, so we've been watching, so I, last year I watched Vanderpump Rules, this year has been like a below deck thing and even Adam, who is not a reality TV person normally, um, has been enjoying below deck. So highly recommend if you like trash TV to give below deck a go. Um, basically it follows people who work on a yacht and the kind of guests that they come in but it's mainly about the people who work on the yacht and the kind of drama relationships that unfold and um the cast is slightly different or the crew is slightly different each season but they have like some people who are in it every season you know it really reminds me of Ibiza Weekender if anyone from the UK watches that uh, I love that show. <laughs> it's very similar to that, but more classy than I beat The Weekender. <laughs> now, I also discovered kind of over the Christmas period, um, as I said, I was a big fan of The Hills back in the day. I was 
fully hooked. If you are from that kind of early noughties generation, I was like taking it all in, you know, I was that kind of, by like 2003, 2004, I was just starting secondary school. I was like starting to get really into pop culture and like all things like that. So the Hills, when I was like, I want to say 14, 15, 16, I, I must have been that kind of age and I was really into it. And I wanted to be them. I really wanted to like have the lives that they lived. I couldn't wait to like become an adult so I could like go to these clubs and like do all this stuff. And now um, I watch it and I'm like, wow, I've done all that and I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so I really loved The Hills back in the day. I had like followed on and off Whitney who was in The Hills um, like on social media and stuff since The Hills like stopped airing. I knew that she had a podcast and I listened to her podcast and I had watched some of her videos because she has a YouTube channel. Basically she like reacts to old episodes and they, her and her husband Timmy, they watch old episodes of The City. So she had a spin-off show called The City. Um, they did like The Hills New Beginnings because she was in that, which came out like a couple years ago, which is like a Hills reboot, revamp thing. Um, and now they are watching The Hills, the like the classic episodes um, together from the beginning. And she's actually never seen them. So she's like watching herself and watching all the storylines unfold. And then they like comment on it as they're watching it. And it's the best thing ever. If you like The Hills, give this a watch because they like, it's so funny, like watching things back now, you're like, oh my God, how did they get away with saying this? And like the, the drama that um, The Hills still provokes, like, in in the comments of people watching their videos like people are like die hard for certain characters and it's so interesting to see because you can see like in now you can see how those like storylines have been created because we like watch reality now like knowing like a lot of it's not real kind of it's like fabricated to make a good story for a show but back then that was such a new thing that I didn't realise that that's what I thought this was genuinely these people's lives. So it's just really interesting to watch it now and also watch her who was on the show and like has obviously like moved on loads from that time in her life and like she's met her husband and her husband's actually either like a, he was a producer or an editor or something so he I think edits all the videos um, and so he has that kind of insider knowledge and she has kind of insider knowledge of like what was actually going on at the time and like sometimes she'll like drop these little behind the scenes juicy tidbits of like this is what actually happened then yeah it's just really really interesting to watch and if you're a Hills fan then I think you will definitely enjoy it that kind of inspired this um jumper purchase because from watching that she does chic loungewear so well i just love her style and she just makes loungewear look so effortless and cool and so i'm channeling i'm channeling my whitney court with this outfit today okay so i'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on we also started a new documentary last night which is called The Staircase and it's really good. It's like a true crime whodunit kind of thing. And this guy's wife fell down a flight of stairs and died. That's like, the, we've only watched one episode and this is like in the first episode, like this is at the like beginning of the episode. So it's not giving anything away. But it's basically like trying to work out, I guess through the documentary if she actually did fall down a flight of stairs or her husband murdered her. And we have also been watching The American Office. So I think we're on season six of that now. So we're slowly like working our way through The American Office. I have watched it years ago, but I don't really, rem I'm not very good with like remembering everything that happens. So it's basically like I'm watching it for the first time pretty much. Um, and it's so funny. I just love all the characters in it so much. Um, they all have like their different quirks and yeah, if you haven't watched The American Office, they have put that on Netflix now as well. 
and I highly recommend it. Uh, you just can't go wrong with it. Oh, I like that. It is, it's like a bright nude. <laughs> okay, so I am ready now. That took me a very long time. Um, if you're still listening, wow, well, well done. Um, so I'm gonna go just chill out for a little bit now and then I'm going to, it has stopped raining, so I might go for my walk in a bit and then we'll do some organizing of the office room, spare bedroom, really. delicious classic lemon and sugar it was really nice just a little something to keep me going till dinner time um and now i'm going to tackle this room so this is our spare bedroom and it's also the room that i work in every day during the week um so i have a desk set up here and then the bed is like behind the camera I'll show you in a minute um but yeah it's just become a bit a bit of a mess because I tend to like just use the bed as a bit of a dumping ground because obviously no one's sleeping on it at the moment um so I'm gonna sort that out I'm gonna tidy up my desk area and then the big thing is to tackle these drawers in the desk so in here I want to have at the moment I've got like a mixture of things like paperwork i've got like my swimwear <laughs> in one of them i've got like just old um like photos that we've printed off in another one things like that so i just want to like go through them and see what actually needs to be in these drawers or what could be moved into like a different storage place and um then just have like I want at least one of the drawers to be relatively empty so I can like use it as my kind of like work stationary drawer just keeping like handy things like notebooks and pens and stuff in there that I can like grab on a daily basis. Um, I'm going to put you on a time lapse and then I'll probably show you like a before and after of the drawer situation because I think it's going to take me a fair bit of time to sort it all out. So let's go. Okay, so this is my desk setup. I have like my Mac desktop computer there. That's um, what I use for editing. Um, I've had it for years, but the my like work setup is normally on here. So I have my work laptop on here. Um, it's a Windows laptop at work that we use at work. So it doesn't like connect to this. Otherwise I would love to use this as a second screen, but I think you have to like download like buy a windows application to be able to do that and it's just i can't be bothered <laughs> to try and like figure out the tech of it but it's really annoying because normally i'll have my laptop here and it would be so nice to be able to use this massive screen as like a second 
work screen but maybe one day i'll figure that out um, so it's a pretty good space for working normally and i have like my little keyboard and my mouse and everything so it's actually a really nice room to work in but i got this lamp last year in the sale from made um so i don't think you can buy it anymore but it's a really nice lamp i love the color obviously it's very pink we're going for like pink and purple vibes in here obviously um i've got my excuse that that needs to go upstairs but i've got my like little himalayan salt lamp as well in here and then i have this candle which my brother actually got me this for christmas this is from parkminster it's their ocean candle and it's the most like fresh smelling candle i don't like cotton but this doesn't smell like that this is more like i mean it doesn't smell like the ocean but that is the closest thing i could compare it to it's a very like calm blue <laughs> it's like making me think of the color blue um when i smell it but it doesn't really smell like any particular flower or um other scent that i've smelled it's very unique but if you like kind of scents that you can burn all year round and are just going to be a really nice kind of uplifting fresh smell then this is a great one and apartminster candles are um a sussex based brand so they're kind of local to me where my my hometown is really really great quality they're all soy candles um they're not super expensive and um i've tried a few different ones from them and the scents just fill the room so well and they burn really evenly so really really like that candle thank you tom for getting me that for christmas and then let me move my water i have these i actually got these as, at the same time i got the lamp from made um they're just like little coasters like marble coasters i have over here um this is the sweet chef sugarcane and vitamin e oh, again it's not gonna focus okay this is the sweet chef sugarcane and vitamin e lip sleeping mask i don't love this it's fine it's a fine lip balm it's not anything to write home about but i just keep it by my desk so that if i need a little bit of nourishment i've got something um my ring stand so sometimes i'll just keep my my rings and stuff on here um, and then i can just stick them on any time of day when i'm working and the glossier you perfume i love that perfume it's so like fresh and clean but a little bit musky it's so nice yeah so that's like my desk setup obviously normally i'll have my laptop set up and that's the main thing that i use but then in in my drawers they are just absolutely full to the brim so with like just random stuff so yeah this one has like paperwork and obviously just random stuff thrown in there um this is the one that i want to sort out and just have as a fairly empty drawer um and kind of make it like my work drawer and then this is all my swimwear as i said <laughs> keep like my my bikinis and stuff down here and then oh in here this is fairly empty so i feel like i can definitely move things around in here i just have some i haven't really found places to put these so i just put them in there when we moved in i think and then this one over here is where i have again random bits of stationery like I don't think I'm ever going to need these, but I keep them just in case one day. I, I don't, why do I have two hole punches? I don't know. Um, but these are all photos. So yeah, we went through a period of like getting loads of our iPhone pictures printed off so that we can put them into photograph albums and then we never put them into photograph albums. Um, so we still have to do that at some point, but um, yeah, I just put all of the photos that we have in this drawer. I might try and find a new home for them. And then in here I have like makeup bags. Here's a photograph album that I need to fill. And then uh, yeah, just like makeup bags, which honestly I never use and like some chargers and random stuff. And then, oh, I think I'll probably leave this drawer because there's quite a lot of like Adam's old newspaper cuttings. He used to be like a journalist on a local newspaper. Um, I think that's what they are or some newspaper cuttings that he's kept. I don't know. And what else? Oh, our, I think these are our, uh, 
what's it called university like certificate degree certificates in there as well i'll probably leave that last drawer how it is just because that's kind of that can just be like the junk drawer but yeah so as you can see there's a lot of stuff that i just need to find like better homes for and better storage solutions for so again i'm gonna put you on a time lapse while i sort all this out but um yeah hopefully when i next see you i'll be a little more organized Okay, I think I'm in a good place with this now. I will show you what I've done. I'm feeling like it's a lot more organized. Now, when you come over to this drawer, it looks a lot more in order. So we have like notebooks and things back here. Um, these are like things that I might reach for regularly. So my um, glasses that sometimes I just use when I'm looking at screens too long. Uh, hair ties, the lip balm, and then we have pens over here in this little organizer things. These are all just little um, baskets and organizers that I had lying around that I wasn't using. Um, and then back here, <laughs> we've got like my gum, um, ma mouses, mice. Um, that I use um, and then like the stapler and the hole punch uh, I decided could go back there and like my bank card reader and things just things that I know I will need regularly except the stapler and the hole punch um, but if I do need them then I can just reach for them in this drawer and they're easy to get to um, in here this is going to be paperwork so I have like envelopes in here I have um, folders like empty you know, like clear plastic wallets and things like that, that I can reach. I mean, this is not organized, but it's all in this drawer and I know that I can find it. And then down here, this is where I've put my swimwear. I just switched out the drawers. So I just moved this one to the bottom drawer. I just think I, I'm obviously rarely gonna need to come into this drawer and get my swimwear, especially this year, because I'm not gonna be going on a holiday, but, um, it just keeps it kind of tucked away we have still the photographs in here and the photograph album now fits in here as well um we've got my headphones case and then just other little bits of like stationery that i don't really reach for very often but could be handy to have if i ever was in a situation where i needed something like string or blue tack or paper clips just kind of stuff that's kind of useful to have around and then in here, this is my makeup bags. Um, and I also have a spare lipstick holder that I don't use that I just keep there in case I ever want to use it. I just don't see the point in throwing it away. Um, but I've got like my brush holder here for traveling. And then there's a couple of makeup bags, smaller makeup bags inside this bigger one. And then this one I often use. Um, it's a really old one from Muji, but I really like the layout. That's what I've got in there. And then this bottom one I've just left as as it was because a lot of the stuff in here is Adam's and I don't really want to mess with it. <sighs> a big job ticked off the list actually because it's been kind of hanging over me. Like every time I open those drawers, I'm like, oh my God, uh, how do I find anything? Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased that that's been done. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to sign off this vlog here. So thank you for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different for my channel, but um, hopefully it was enjoyable and a little thing you could watch to take your mind off everything else that's going on. I hope that you're all doing well and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see from me down below. It's always good to get ideas from you guys and um, yeah, I'd love to chat to you in the comments and just see how you're doing. And so yes, don't forget to like and subscribe if you do want to see more from me. I would really, really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.